Hello everybody and welcome to another JetSim flight video. Chris here with you and uh, we're looking at um, what's coming to be coming together to be a pretty close to being finished overhead panel structure. Uh, you can see I have a few panels that don't quite match up to where they're supposed to. Uh, one being the two fire panels. Those for some reason came out shorter according to my calculations on the measurements. So uh, I gotta go back and redo those. Uh, then we have another panel over here that's actually missing uh, the two little, there's a filler panel and there's like a voice recorder panel that go there. Uh, down here we have like the uh, ICU and this is the flight controls. I do have the faces for those, they just haven't been, um, the letters haven't been etched out. Same goes for the ice uh, protection panel and for all of the uh, pneumatic and air panels. And then I also have the back panel for, um, I uh, can't remember which panel that is right now, but anyway, I have all those panels as well. Um, so just a few more panels to uh, finish cutting out, um, but what I wanted to show you today was that I ordered some um, some buttons that I think that uh, are going to work pretty well. Uh, I'm not sure if this is going to be the final end thing of what I use because it's... Uh, well, let me just show you. So here are the buttons. And uh, I have to excuse the poor zooming. So uh, I got these buttons, and these are 16 millimeter square uh, momentary push buttons. So I, I wanted, I meant to buy the latching, but I bought the momentary instead. Um, but that's okay. I I'm gonna figure out, you know, uh, how to do that at some point. And sorry about all the shakiness here. I'm actually doing this from the cell phone today, and not a GoPro. Um, but these are the buttons, and the thing I, I'm not so thrilled about is how much these come off of the panel. Um, I'd like them to be a little bit more recessed, and as you can see, they're all white, so they look, uh, you know, it looks pretty bright, uh, up on the panel, and as you know, the Embraer's are dark, dark panel, so, um... You know, if something is lit up, that means it's actually on um, or um, being used. So, uh, or or alert as some kind of alert. So, I'm not I'm not a super huge fan of the the white. Uh, I do know that I can take and put little inserts behind the uh, the top little portion of the switch here. It does come off, and I can put whatever I want. Uh, I know that, for instance, down here on this panel. Uh, we have uh, these two actually have a spot that actually has a red part on them. So somehow I got to figure out how I'm going to get a red LED inside of this, uh, as well as the the white LED that's already uh, the main part of the color. So um, got to figure out how I'm going to do that. That might actually require some custom buttons. Um, we'll have to find out and see. Um, but uh, other than that, everything else is pretty much ready to go. Um, I do have to cut a new uh, back panel for the power plant panel because as you can see you can't see any of the lettering coming through even though it is etched on there. Um, so that's got to be redone and then obviously uh, as you can see from this top panel the uh, lettering is really really, uh, let's see if I need it to zoom properly there, uh, it's cut out a little too deep and a little too wide so uh, I got to go back and redo that panel again. Um, hopefully this time I'll have my CNC machine balanced out a little bit better as far as the leveling. Uh, I did happen to find somebody who created a leveling program to level out the uh, the program itself to make sure that if your part's not level or your your uh, CNC uh, plane is not level, then it will level it out for you and do all the ca calculations and math to fix all that. So uh, that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. Just the, the fact that I got these buttons and uh, put about 20 of them in for uh, the essential pieces, uh, the essential buttons, so that I can kind of, uh, you know, enjoy the sim a little bit and maybe do some flying in it every now and then uh, between actually building panels and stuff like that. So, thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe below and uh, click that like button. Thanks so much. Have a good one.